Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for ozone, O3. So here we go. We've got O3, which is going to give us three oxygens, each with six valence electrons. So that's going to give us a total of uh, 18 valence electrons. Alright, so we can go ahead and, because there's all three oxygens, it's just going to be one oxygen, two oxygens, and three oxygens, okay? And we can start off by single bonding all of them. And then we can, let's go ahead and fill out these three, or these two um, full octets, all right? So if you notice, here's eight, 16, and then we still need two more for 18. So we could just throw that one on there. Now, this oxygen only has six, does not complete the octet rule. So what we need to do is move one of these pairs of this oxygen of electrons over to make a double bond. Okay, so now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 18 electrons, and we can check the formal charges to make sure that this is the correct structure. So let's call this oxygen one, this one oxygen two, and this one oxygen three. Okay, so the formal charge of oxygen one. This one here is six valence brought in minus one, two, three, four non bonding electrons minus one, two bonds, which gives us a formal charge of zero. Okay? Formal charge of oxygen two, which is the top one here, is going to have six valence brought in minus one, two, three bonds minus one, two non bonding electrons, which is going to give us a formal charge of plus one. Okay? And the formal charge of oxygen three which is this one here, is six valence brought in minus one, two, three, four, five, six non-bonding electrons minus one bond there is a minus one formal charge. If you add those up, it gives you a formal charge of zero overall, which is what we needed because this is a, a non-charged particle, okay, or a non-charged non compound rather. So that's what we're looking for, but now notice how we chose to have this oxygen one, this left oxygen to have the double bond and not this right one. It was to say it should be that one. That's why you have to draw the resonance structures. So we'll have one more structure over here. Now, instead of this oxygen having a double bond, this one will. So we have double bond here, single bond here, six, two, four, and then one there. Now we're all set up. Each oxygen has the full octet. It's just a mirrored version of this structure over here. Okay? Now let's go ahead and talk about shapes. Um, this is going to be a uh, bent shaped compound um, and uh, bent shapes compound bent shaped compounds have a, a bond angle of approximately uh, 117 degrees give or take okay and um, looking at the hybridization for the center oxygen there's one, two, three bonding sites, so one S and two P's, so SP2 hybrid. So that's, so that's for the hybrid orbitals. And due to this uh, non-bonding electron pair on the top of the Lewis dot structure, this is going to be a polar compound. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.